Hi everyone and welcome back into Wolf's Tavern. I am your host, Wolf or Wolf Angel, with Retro and Wolf, as well as being associated with Geek News Now. So today I do have a very simple recipe for you guys. Going back to my Texas roots, we're going to do barbecue chicken quesadillas. So I do have everything out and ready to go so that we can just go ahead and get started. So with all that, of course you're going to want to make sure that you have a pan and we're gonna have the chicken. I've already cooked the chicken and I used the Instant Pot for that and just using the poultry setting. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can always cook it either in the oven or on the stove as well. You're just wanting to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through using a meat thermometer, making sure that your temperature is over 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can also go to the store, use the rotisserie chicken and just shred that chicken as well. Okay, so I do have the stick butter here that I'm going to use and we're going to be melting that down to be able to put onto the tortillas because if you don't put butter on the tortillas, you are going to burn the tortillas. Now, if you wanna use anything like a spray butter or a squeeze butter, you can do that as well without having to melt down the butter, but this is just what I'm gonna be using today. I'm not gonna be using all of this butter, it's just what I had left of that stick of butter. And then I use the Fiesta blend of the finely shredded cheese, and that works really well with the barbecue sauce. And I like just the original Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. You can always use your favorite barbecue sauce. And if you prefer to just have regular cheddar cheese instead of the Fiesta blend, you can do that as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and gotten my chicken over here. As you can see, I've already shredded a little bit of it. And that's all that you're going to want to do is just shred a bit. You're going to want to just kind of have it as a thin coming apart. You don't want it to be super tiny, super thin, because then it's just going to be following out, falling out of your tortillas with all of this. And so you can just keep shredding for the chicken amount that you've got. And then after you've done all of that, we are just going to move it over into a simple little Tupperware container. And then once you have enough chicken in here, I normally for this one because it is a bit of a deeper amount that I will fill it about halfway with the chicken and then you're going to coat them with barbecue sauce. All right, so now that you've got your chicken all nicely shredded, we're gonna go ahead and add our barbecue sauce. And with this, there's not really a measurement. You're just going to put in enough to be able to coat that chicken. And the reason why we use that Tupperware container is so that it's a lot easier to mix. And I just kind of do that, shake it all around, and be expecting that you're going to have to open it and put a little more barbecue sauce in because now you've got that bottom portion that was not exposed to that barbecue sauce that you poured in the first time. And so you just kind of do this a couple times until the chicken is all nicely coated in the barbecue sauce, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the tortillas. I've already buttered one of them. Like I said, I was needing to melt down my butter. So then I'm just gonna use a little bit of a baster in order to just smear some of that butter around. You don't need a lot of butter on the tortillas. You just wanna be able to have enough to where you're getting that shiny butter gleam all over the tortilla. And then what I do if I'm having to make more than one, I put the butter sides together. And that way then you can already have all the tortillas that you're going to be needing to make all the quesadillas that you're making, whether you're making four, whether you're making 10, 12, any number like that, you can go ahead and have your sets of tortillas ready to go. All right, so now that we've got all of our tortillas buttered, we've got our chicken all barbecue sauced up, and we've got our cheese. I already have the pan heated up. I've got it at about medium heat heat. We don't want it too high or you are going to burn your tortillas even with the butter on them. So you're going to do butter side down and then put some cheese, chicken, cheese, and then the next tortilla. So you can hear that little bit of a sizzle there. And you're just going to very lightly put cheese or if you want a whole bunch of cheese you can do that as well. I just put enough cheese to where when it melts, it's going to hold the chicken 
in between those tortillas. So then we've got the cheese there. I'm just gonna put some of our chicken in here. Need a little bit more. There we go. All right. And then also having it on medium heat is going to give you this time to be able to put the cheese and the chicken and cheese in the next tortilla. Otherwise, if it is hotter than that, you are going to start burning that first tortilla before you have all of these ingredients together. So then I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese and then I'm going to put my next tortilla there. And then you can just use a spatula, help press it down a little bit. And then you're going to wait just probably about another minute or so before you try flipping it. Okay, so it has been about a minute or so. And I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to flip this over so then we can start cooking on that other side. Okay, so now that we've been able to finish, I was making four of these barbecue chicken quesadillas. And that took about half of one chicken breast. But like I said, depending on how many you're wanting to make, you get to decide how many tortillas and how much of that chicken. And so again, thank you guys for coming and checking this out. I'm gonna go ahead and go eat these. Hope to see you again, bye.